it is completely okay to be the only one or the first. It is scary as hell sometimes, but we need to be in the seats that make, interpret, and enforce legislation that dictates our everyday lives. With more LGBTQ Americans elected to office than ever before, the future of our country never looked so diverse and so queer. Say hello to the barrier-breaking politicians of the rainbow wave. My name is Maureen Avec Raja Salima Turner, and I am the newly elected representative for House District 88 right here in Oklahoma. And I am the first non-binary person elected to serve in the state legislature in the country. Being the first is not something that's necessarily new to me. I've lived in this body for a long time, and I knew at a very young age, having serious conversations with my mother about the fact that I was often going to be the first or the only in the room at the time. One of the formative things that led me into community organizing and ultimately into politics was being able to reconnect with my dad and hear his story. I realized that Oklahoma's justice system does a really kind of banged up job of keeping families and individuals incarcerated long after they leave the physical prison. And my father takes full responsibility for everything that he did. But we in society, and specifically here in Oklahoma, have a system that is built on revenge rather than rehabilitation. And so as soon as you get touched by it once, it's really hard to get out. For me, a big part of community organizing is answering a call to action. And so folks of House District 88 were asking me to run because I hold a lot of intersections as well as that shared lived experience, right? Understanding what it means to be on food stamps, understanding um, what it means to grow up with an incarcerated parent in a single parent household with a mother who worked three jobs to make ends meet. That's not a unique story to myself. The phrase that they like to use around the house is like drinking water through a fire hose. And so we got elected one week, we got sworn in the next week. Our deadlines were a week after that, but I was ready. My first order of business was to submit an amendment to our dress code for session. They didn't even allow space for religious hand coverings until I came to the Oklahoma legislature as well as in order to get a gender marker change. In Oklahoma, you have to have psychological evaluation and, and prove that you have had surgery. When a lot of folks in our community do not want surgery, do not need surgery, and a lot of folks can't afford surgery. And you can't tell me or my community that I do not get to show up fully as myself because I didn't have the funds to be able to do that. But also criminal justice reform is my heart. Criminal justice reimagining and rebuilding I think about what change needs to happen in America or in politics as a whole is, is that representation, right? These systems were created by men who didn't expect me to be here, let alone anybody else um, that lives life in the margin or is not a white cis het man. Uh, people who have had to survive on food stamps, people who have had to live in their car, right? People who have been incarcerated. They have seen the ugly side of these systems, right? And they know what it takes to make it better. I think it's really remarkable what Oklahoma did, and it's really interesting to see that we did this right here in the Bible Belt. And that is something that I'm still trying to wrap my head around. But the important thing is, and how we did it, was that miracles happen when people show up, and communities showed up inside and outside of Oklahoma.